All right, video two, half ass custom. So, we dragged in this uh, Junker motor that was frozen on the ground. That was awesome. We got a Junk Turbo 350. So we're gonna bolt those together. I got an axe, the firewall. We're gonna set the motor and trans in, make some new motor mounts or something just to kind of hold it in. So we can see where it's gonna be, make sure the radiator's gonna clear up front with the suspension. And then, I don't know, trailing arms or whatever we're doing in the back here, we can make some sort of brace. So, this is what Uncle Brent recommends, so that's what we're doing. So motor's in, actually worked out really well. So we got it sitting on blocks, that's about where the motor's gonna sit, even uh, back into the firewall. I cut it out so you'll just flip it and I'll have lots of room. Uh, for exhaust, I wanna do like I said, a side exhaust something. So that's lots of room there. The steering box that he had is actually gonna work. We just gotta extend this steering arm at some point. And then, I mean, super easy. I just gotta make some sort of motor mount to join it. And a transmission mount, obviously, that's no big deal. So the next thing we're gonna work on, now we know the transmission is gonna be, we need to put a brace across the frame that we can tack on the trailing arms. So we wanted to make sure we had the transmission and all that in place so we're not messing with the drive shaft. So it's all really, uh, it's coming together, it's coming together in a hurry. All right, so this kind of shows it's gonna work out. So I've uh, got this bar in, squared it up. Uh, put the drive shaft in, or a drive shaft in, so we know it's not going to be in the way of uh, the bar. So we got this two bar set up. So essentially that bar is going to run from this cross member I just put in to the underside of the frame, which is still up there, or the uh, diff, which is still got to clean up. But this is kind of what it's going to look like. So here's that front little uh, part of the bushing. Two tabs, weld that to the cross member. Square tube back, and this will fit under the diff plug weld it weld it all the way around and that's going to be it and once we get that dealt with there will be two little plates a couple of coil springs and we're dialed and it'll be a roller it's so pretty simple so now i'm just going to line it back clean up under the dip about where i think it's going to kind of fit those little tabs and we should be able to kind of measure this thing up make sure the rear end's not cockeyed so it's not going to dog track but again everything's just kind of tack welded together shocks and well shocks later coil springs in and it'll be a legitimate roller
so we've got it crudely welded together temporary but ultimately it looks uh looks pretty good so the coils there there's no shocks nothing obviously but it's bouncy raise it up so we'll have to adjust the coil the springs there to uh, make it a cool ride height but overall it's in there a little high the front's a little low now the motor's in and all the weights on it so through a block or figure some way out to lift it but the overall lift is there or look is there sorry i'm pretty stoked with it i think i'm going to uh try and get those big stupid wheels on because i brought some adapters see if i can accomplish that leave it for a couple days let it age over here come back maybe uh try chopping a little bit because i want it lower brent's uh, twisted my arm it needs to look as low as it does with the visor everywhere and then look ridiculous out the front it needs to look cool <laughs> it's not there yet <laughs> <laughs> so there it is we just kind of put the rear wheel up to it but looks cool it's got a big rake probably got to come down a little bit but we just kind of jammed everything together we're going to shuffle it on the other side of the shop leave it there for a few days try and come back on the weekend so i want to uh get a little chop tutorial this is a little too tall but i dig it it's turned out pretty good let me know what you think brent hates these wheels i love them <laughs> So let's put a poll in the comments. And my writer's half-assed, right? He's got a little more experience, but I think I have him in this one. Get that thing done and hopefully the uh, model T 